so now we have entered uncharted territory in the NFL, the Week 18. So, of course, for Week 18, the season finale, the Lions' final game of the season, final home game of the season, as the Lions will play host to the Green Bay Packers for Week 18. So, currently for this game, right now, currently the point spread, I believe, has Green Bay favored in this game by 8.5 points. But that point spread is subject to change because there is a good chance Green Bay is resting a good chunk of their starters for this game. And I've heard some reports from the odds makers that if Green Bay does rest a lot of starters, that point spread could actually flip into the Lions' favor. So there's a chance the Lions could actually get in, in the end, could get favored for this game at the last second. By the way, for the all time head to head series, Green Bay leads the all time series 105, 72, and 7. And they have won the last five meetings over the Lions, including the week two game earlier this year on Monday night. Of course, up um, this year, Green Bay, they're 5 and 3 on the road this year, but Detroit is 2 and 5 at home. Yeah, all of Green Bay's losses this year have come on the road this year, but Green Bay will end the regular season undefeated at home. And Green Bay has the number, and here's the reason why Green Bay could be resting the number of their starters. Because Green Bay already has the, locked up the number one seed in the NFC. So Green Bay gets the first round by. They get home field advantage throughout the playoffs in the NFC. So yeah, the road through Super Bowl 56, it's going to go through frozen ass Lambo again for the second year in a row. So yeah, yeah, all three of Green Bay's losses on the road, they came against um, the Saints, which was that, that game was in Jacksonville. And then they also lost on the road to the Chiefs when Aaron Rodgers tested positive for the plague. And they also lost on the road in Minnesota. So yeah, um, I already went over the Packers' key players on offense and defense and the coaching staff back in the Week 2 preview. So if you want to know that, just go back to that preview and watch it. But yeah, anyway, though, I'll go over the injuries since it's a lot different. So for the injuries, um, they won't have Randall Cobb as he's on the IR with a groin injury. They also won't have Robert Tanyan, who's on the IR with an ACL tear. They won't have Sidarius Smith, who's on the IR with a back injury. Now, Jair Alexander, he is he is questionable because he what well, he was listed for play conditions, but it was undisclosed, so... Odds are Jair was in close contact with somebody on the Packers that did test positive for the plague. That's because on the teams, they don't have to specify if someone tested positive or not. Unless the player wants it public. So yeah, so yeah Jair is just questionable because of plague um, protocols. But Daryl Savage, he is questionable because he did test positive for the plague. So, yeah, I honestly say the Packers are smart. I say just rest Jair and Savage, you know, rest any starters that you can so that you're, so everyone's healthy for the divisional round. And there's reports that Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, and De De Devontae Adams, they may not play and could be rested. So, yeah. So, yeah, in terms of the offense, the Packers' offense is ranked 12th in the league. They're 9th in the passing game, and they're 19th in the running game. So, yeah, they've had some issues running the ball. And the Packers' defense is ranked 11th. They're 9th against the pass, and they're tied for 13th against the run. So, that's a pretty decent unit. Not a good unit, but not a terrible one. It's okay. But, yeah. But, yeah, overall for this game, though, so, yeah. A lot of Green Bay starters are resting because you look at this for the Packers. This game literally means nothing to the Packers. This is literally a meaningless game for Green Bay. Now, there is some meaning for Detroit, but it is also kind of a meaningless game, too. I mean, for Detroit, they're still battling for the first overall pick since the Tank Bowl has gone down to Week 18 between Detroit and Jacksonville. Because for Detroit to win, get the first overall pick, it's it's pretty straightforward. They need a win, they need a loss, and they need Jacksonville to win to get that first overall pick. For Jacksonville, they just gotta lose this week eighteen to the Colts, and they get the pick. And if you honestly look at it, if we're being realistic, you look at the schedule this week. There's no way in hell Jacksonville is beating the Indianapolis. They're not. Jacksonville's not beating the Colts. Because the Colts, they're playing for a playoff spot this week. 
Yeah, hey, wait a sec. Why the fuck did I circle Jacksonville in my picks? Hang on. Let me change that. There we go. I'm a fucking idiot for doing that. So, yeah, yeah, there's no way Jacksonville is losing to the Colts. I mean, they're beating the Colts, sorry. So, yeah. So, yeah, look at this game. See, so, yeah, I feel like Jacksonville, they're going to end up with the first overall pick. But, hey, for anyone that wants to cry tank for this game, let me put this in perspective. If the Lions lose, they're the second overall pick. If they win, they're still the second overall pick. Like, like Detroit's loss against Seattle, they're guaranteed a top two pick. So they're guaranteed either Aiden Hutchinson or Kayvon Thibodeau. So really, if the Lions win this game, they literally lose nothing. They got nothing to lose this Sunday. And the season's over after this Sunday anyway. So you know what? Even though it would be a meaningless win... Any chance you have at beating the Green Bay Fudge Packers, you gotta fucking take it. So yeah, you know what? I feel like Green Bay's gonna wear us a lot of starters. And I feel like Detroit's gonna find a way to bullshit their way to the win. So yeah, I'm taking the Lions to win this game on the road at home to end the season. I mean, hey, meaningless game. It's a full advantage for the Lions to take advantage and win the game. Because this game literally means nothing for Green Bay. So hey... And, you know, hey, I say Detroit should try and go out and win this game for the fans. Because, you know what? The fan base has had to deal with a lot of shit this year. You know, a lot of ups and downs. You know, especially with the fan base losing um, Detroit Lions and the Prowl earlier um, on Black Friday. You know, a lot of things the fan base had to deal with, you know. But, yeah. You know, fan, you know especially with this being an embrace the suck season. So, you know what? I say Lions just go out, win this game for the fan, win one for the fans, end the season on a high note to give the fan base and the team at least some positive energy and some positive momentum entering the offseason. You know, and at least get a win for the culture too that Dan Campbell wants to build. So yeah, at least give this team something positive to talk about entering the offseason. So, yeah. And, and, and let me just say this for the Lions fans. It's even though I may give the Lions fan base a lot of shit from time to time for being dumbasses, I'll just say one positive thing about the fan base. At least you're not Kansas City Chief fans. That's all I'm going to say there. So yeah, I have the Lions winning this game because yeah, this game literally means fucking nothing. So yeah, and the Lions also have a knack for wanting to win meaningless games. So yeah, this game doesn't matter. So yeah, Lions for the win. But hey, any chance you have it being the Packers, you have to take it. But yeah, that's where I stand with that. So yeah, why I have the Lions winning Week 18 against the Green Bay Packers. So yeah, that's all I have to say. See y'all later in the review. Peace.